Hi, and welcome to my kitchen. Thanks for joining me for another weekly video. And this week's recipe, classic apple pie. You will need Granny Smith apples, lemon juice, butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and sugar. And for this recipe, I'm using six Granny Smith apples. I've peeled them already, and here I've cored them and sliced them thinly to lay them flat into the pie. Onto the apples, it goes one tablespoon lemon juice, three tablespoons granulated sugar, one teaspoon cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix well to combine. And then you wanna work with uh, pre-made pie crust or your own pie crust, and I'm using store-bought here. A little bit of egg wash for the topping and some sugar. Using your baking dish, preheat your oven to 425 degrees and layer that first layer of pie crust into a greased baking dish. Pour in the apples and then lay them flat with your hands and then top off with two tablespoons of butter diced just like that. Lay the second pie crust over top and then gently press into the edges so that the apples are covered but not mushed in and work around the perimeter of the pie, pinching both pie crusts to combine. Then gently use both index fingers to pinch and close. Slice some vents to release the steam while it bakes. Um, I'm making three slices, however you can make any design you like. Next, you want to use a little bit of egg wash. Just a little goes a long way. You don't want any pools. Just a nice layer of egg wash and some sugar crystals to top off. And when you bake, line a baking sheet with foil to catch any spillage and bake at 425 for 20 minutes and 375 for 30 minutes and let cool completely. An apple pie could be served cold, cool, temperature, or warm with a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream. Buttery, flaky, delicious, not too sweet with perfectly delicious, crisp apples that are perfect for this time of year. Let me know how your recipe comes out if you try it. And don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every Monday. I appreciate you being here and thanks so much for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again with a brand new video. Bye for now. Have a great day.